Hi, I'm Derek Klobuchar with SAP News Services, and I'm here in Las Vegas at SAP Tech Ed Decode 2014 to look at some of the practical ways that SAP is using the Internet of Things. 50 on this side. SAP's Michael Forn is the program lead for the Internet of Things. He runs a water pump demonstration which shows how a building's water supply might work. But what we've done in this specific scenario is we fit it with a bunch of sensors that's measuring anything from flow, pressure, and even the energy consumption of the pump itself. IoT-specific so services our, uh, let users manager, take that data, stream it live in real time, and post it up into the SAP HANA cloud. And then you would have a nice application like this that a uh, building manager might be able to use to monitor the health of his system, making sure there's no blockages, no leaks. All of this can make the lives of property and building managers a lot easier. But of course, making his life easier makes for a little bit of a boring demo, so we're going to create some problems for him. Foreign simulates a blockage by closing a valve. That slows the flow of water from the pump, increasing pressure in the system. That, in turn, forces the pump to work harder, while sensors throughout the system monitor everything. And all that data, again, is being streamed live and in real time up into the cloud, so that building manager who might be sitting in a nice air-conditioned office, he doesn't have to be sitting in the basement monitoring all this. He's able to see that and get an alert. I just got the alert, and as a building manager, I can go ahead and set this pump into maintenance mode. Putting into maintenance mode, it shuts off the motor so it doesn't continue working and burn it out. Because we have a redundant system, the redundant system kicks in and I'm able to continue delivering water to my tenants so that guy who's taking a shower is able to continue with his shower. Before the failure, we had some very clear patterns that came in at, through the data stream. So if that pattern came in again, where you saw me flip that switch manually, um, you can have an application that was smart enough to recognize that pattern and do that flip of the switch um, autom automatically by itself. So that manager, if this happened at 3 o'clock in the morning, he wouldn't have to be woken up by a phone call. This is a very simple water pump demo, but what it really does is in, um, demonstrate the possibility of being able to take sensor data off of anything, whether it's a water pump, whether it's manufacturing line, production line, whatever it might be, take that and push it up into the HANA cloud where you're then able to leverage the HANA DB. That's all for now from Las Vegas. For SAP News Services, I'm Derek Klobuchar.